As we move closer to the completion of the acorn skiff, I've been working on, well, the sailing components. I've done the mast and that's ready to be installed. Now we're just needing to work on the centerboard and the rudder and tiller. Now I do have to apologize. This is the area of which I posted in a previous video that I'd lost some raw footage on the process of building these, but I'm just gonna show you what I got and explain as best as possible throughout the process or throughout the video as to how we came to where we are in the video. First off, what I'm not able to show you is how I actually made the tiller, but it was pretty quite simple. I took a couple of two by sixes and I screwed them together so that I had about four inches wide board. Then I marked out the uh, curvature on there according to the plans and cut out and made sort of a mold. Then I laminated uh, five layers of wood in there, starting with a piece of mahogany, then a piece of cedar, then yellow cedar, another red cedar, and the outside being mahogany. Glued all together with epoxy, let it set overnight and harden up. Once that was done, I just cut it to length, tapered towards the handle end, the way one would be holding, uh, according to the plans again, and sanded it all down, shaped it, and covered it in a couple of coats of epoxy. So now I'm going to move on to putting the notch in the, that will hold, go over top of the rudder itself. So let's go have a look at that because I do have some video footage for that. On the rudder there will be a brass pin going uh, horizontally through the uh, tiller uh, rudder end of it. And the purpose of that pin is to lock into a notch on the uh, rudder itself. So that it locks into the notch and then it drops down and it theoretically shouldn't uh, be able to easily fall off. So we're going to go with a quarter inch uh, uh, brass rod, similarly the same piece I did in my uh, sparring, spar gauge. So just want to make sure we're going straight through, that's all. So question is that line on the center or is that line on the of it? Let me just double check the plans here. I'm assuming it's on center because it's just a tiny little line. a larger drill press that had a little more uh, throw to it because what I end up having to do is I have to put a piece in there, bring it up and bring it right here through. Let's hope that we got through the other side evenly, through center, middle off, dang it off. Next is to sort of cut out the slots, similarly that I did on the mast for the uh, sheave. I'm going to go with 5 eighths, and then I can always make it a bit larger as necessary. on here. I just need to make sure that I need to go that far. I'm going to check on the rudder itself. To come a little bit further, not all the way to that line, but close enough. Now we're ready to clean that out. 
see how it fits over the head of the tiller or rudder. At the same time that I was working on the tiller, I was also working on the rudder. And again, some of that video has been lost, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and the plans would call for a piece of marine plywood, a solid piece of marine plywood. Since we're not using any marine plywood in this boat, I laminated up a couple of thin layers of uh, cedar, western red cedar, and overlapped the joints. Then I planed it down to a little bit thinner than what the plans would call for. Once all the wood was laminated together with epoxy, took the pattern from the plans, cut out the shape required, uh, beveled edges, uh, tapered edges where necessary, and then I chose to cover both sides of the rudder with four ounce fiberglass and two or three coats of epoxy. I just was concerned that, you know, over time, warpage, swelling, things don't, uh, you know, then the tiller's not going to slide on, everything's not going to fit in the slot. So I wanted to make sure that that uh, structure was going to be dimensionally stable. And now that the uh, rudder is completed, I've got some footage of actually installing it with gudgeons and pintles. After determining where the pintles go on the rudder from the plans, I drilled my holes, I sealed those holes with epoxy, then I drilled a smaller hole through the filled epoxy, and I'm now I'm setting in my brass screws with uh, nylock nuts on the back side. With the pintles on the rudder, I now need to add the gudgeons to the transom itself. So I level the boat out, then I took a plumb line and marked down the center uh, over crossing some tape so it's visible. Then I determined the height of the uh, top uh, gudgeon and attached that with uh, some bronze screws. Just making sure here that it's perfectly level on both sides. Then by putting the rudder in place, I can slide up the bottom gudgeon to determine exactly where it needs to go. Keeping in mind that I obviously need to make sure that the rudder is hanging vertical or plumb to the boat. And I did that by lining up the bottom of it with the skeg or the keel at the very bottom of the boat. Then I can mark where those holes need to go and set those screws in. With the tiller in place, we've got a very nice looking bronze setup of gudgeons and pintles for the acorn skiff. Along with the rudder and tiller, I also was making the centerboard. And I have absolutely no video on that. But suffice it to say, it's very simple. It's just a solid piece of a western red cedar, which again, I planed down to a little thinner than the plans called for. Fiberglass both sides after shaping it to the required shape from the plans. And then I fiberglassed it, three or four coats of epoxy, sanded and varnished, added the uh, top bracing so that as it goes into the centerboard box, it's not obviously following, following falling right through. So that's going to be it for this video. I really apologize for all of the lost footage, but uh, we're moving on to delivering this uh, beautiful little skiff to the owner. See you next time.